Hello and welcome to another how-to. My name's Brian Pollard, aka F1 Pit Pass, and today we're going to be looking at and demonstrating how to whip a hook. for carp fishing this 10 step process will enable you to easily create a whipped hook bank side or prepare in advance some hook lengths. The advantages of this self-tied whipped hook is that the D we will form on the shank of the hook with the line can be useful for many types of fishing. Specifically in my favourite passion of surface fishing using free line baits. So whipping a hook for carp fishing. Let's have a look at the 10 easy steps. Step 1 Push the line through the eye. There's our hook. Push the line through the eye. Step two, form a loop. That's our hook. Here's our line. We form a loop. Step three, that's our hook, we adjust the size of the loop and the length of the tail. Step four, grip the eye and the line. Step five, whip the shank eight times. Step six, grip the line 
pull the tail to tighten the knot. Step seven. <coughs> Use your fingernail to push the knot down towards the eye of the hook. Pushing the knot. Step eight. Put the tail back through the eye. There's the tail. The tail back through the eye. Forming a D. Step nine. Trim the tail. Step ten. Blob the line with a lighter flame. Okay, let's look at that in close up. through the eye form a loop adjust the loop adjust the length of the tail grip it tightly Whip round the shank eight times. Pull the tail, push the nut down. Give it a tug, push it down again, reposition Tail through the eye, form a D. Adjust the D. Trim it. 
trim the tail blob it with a lighter clean flattening the line with the metal of the lighter stops it coming through That day can be used to attach a long band or two. And you're all ready to go surface fishing. In summary, if you follow the 10 steps of whipping on the hook, you now have a D on the shank of the hook, so you can attach loom bands, as in my bread rig. Issues with lines and eyes are the varying sizes. I use 15 pound line straight through and size 10 or size 8 barbless curved shank eyed hooks. If your line looks like it might pop through the eye even after blobbing the line then just go through the eye a second time tighten up on the eye and then blob the tail. Okay, hope you enjoyed watching that and you might adopt this whipped hook, another in the series of my how-tos. Thanks for watching.